What is up, YouTube? We're going to pan throw games in today's video. I'm going to show you how to shiny hunt Zerua in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And of course, guys, you're new to the channel. Enjoy these videos. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. So we're going to be hunting Zerua, which is a very interesting Pokemon, as is one of the two Pokemon in the game that can be disguised as other Pokemon. So you're usually not going to encounter a wild Zerua out in the wild. It's always going to be disguised as another Pokemon. So the best area to hunt Zerua is going to be right next to the normal gym. Actually, in like this particular zone right here is where you're going to want to be hunting it. Now, I did mention Zerua is a disguised Pokemon. And if you run up to a Pokemon, you can actually tell what the Pokemon is by hitting the ZL button. So that's a Tropius right there. And we go up to this Greedent. We can see that it's actually a Zerua. And you can see how this Greedent is running away, acting different. And that is another good way to tell if something's Zerua or not. Now, the big thing is... If this Zerua was shiny, it would not appear shiny in the overworld. So this Greedent would not appear as a shiny, which is really interesting. So we're going to essentially shiny hunt without being able to know if the Pokemon is shiny, which is going to make it a little bit more difficult, but there are a ways around this. So Zerua is a dark type Pokemon. So we're going to want to encounter more dark type Pokemon by setting up a picnic. And before you start your picnic, highly recommend saving the game just in case you waste sandwich materials, you mess up the sandwich, or you don't get the shiny within the 30 minutes. Always save your game. But then set up the picnic and we're going to be making a dark type sandwich. This is going to increase the shiny rate of all dark type Pokemon in the area, but also increase the encounter rate of all dark type Pokemon in the area too. So this is going to be our best odds of getting a shiny Zerua. I'm also using the shiny charm as well to further boost the odds. Now to make a dark type sandwich, you want to follow the recipe here and you want to go into creative mode and you're going to hit pickle and cucumber. All these recipes start with that. And then for dark types, we want to have three smoked fillets. And if you need to buy ingredients, I recommend going to the Electric Gym City, as the Electric Gym City will have all the ingredients you'll need at the four different restaurants there. So you can use any two Herba Mysticas besides, I believe, sweet and sour. So do not use those together, but any two will work. So I recommend maybe just a salty if you have a lot. And I'm just going to go with this bitter and we're going to be good to go. And now you're just going to make your sandwich. And if you do make a mistake, it's okay. We made a save. It's fine. We can go back and redo it. And this is a pretty easy sandwich to make. I mean, sure, there's a lot of meat to put on it, but all of it's very thin and you can stack them pretty high and throw the sandwich top away. None of our ingredients fell. Put the pick through and we got our dark type sandwich ready to go. All right. And there we go. We have our dark type sandwich. So we get encounter three, shiny three and tidal power three too. So that's pretty neat. So now we're ready to hunt. <clears throat> So if you didn't know, if you auto battle a Pokemon, they don't actually get killed if they're shiny. And this is how we're going to be able to tell if a Pokemon is shiny or not in this case. And in order to tell what a Zerua is without just auto battling every dark type we see, we're actually going to hunt for Mabostives. Because Mabostives walking by themselves and not in groups are always going to be Zeruas. This one here is going to be a Zerua for sure. This other one here that is not in the group is going to be a Zerua. But the one in the group is going to be a Mabostive because Mabostive is always a group spawn. And he's also aggressive. So we know for a fact it's not a Zerua. So we want to auto battle all of the Zeruas. And as you can see, we throw the ball here. We can see he's going to transform into a Zerua. Potentially, he could have been shiny. But the best way to tell is obviously with auto battle. If you do run away from a Zerua, it will disappear for good. So make sure if you do encounter the shiny that you don't run away or you will lose it. So we're just going to go auto battle pretty much all the Mabostives that are by themselves. You could check all the dark type Pokemon too, but it's going to take more time. And this is going to be the most efficient way to do it. And as you can see, there's a lot of Mabostives running around. So you're going to be pretty good. Well, while doing this, we are going to be getting some other dark type Pokemon to spawn. And we did get a shiny Mastiff right here, of course. So if you are hunting for Mastiff and Mass, the boss is shiny. This is actually another really good way to get those shinies too. So keep that in mind that you may get lucky. Potentially Murkrow as well and Bombardier shinies could appear. I do want to note that you want to do this hunt during the day because I did notice at night that Murkrow spawn a lot more and they will take the spawns of Mabostive. So make sure that you're actually playing this hunt during the daytime. Oh, looks like we found our shiny Zerua. So what we're going to do here is we're going to save our game 
And this is actually pretty funny. If you reload your game, the Zerua will appear because disguises don't appear on a reload. So we can do that. But just to show off that this is a shiny, we're going to encounter it. And we're going to get shiny sparkles. And then it's going to transform. And now we got that beautiful shiny Zerua. And now we're going to reload the game just to show off that when you do reload, it will remove the disguise of all nearby Pokemon. And there's going to be a shiny Zerua in front of us. And there it is. There's a shiny Zerua right in front of us. And you can see all the disguise Pokemon. So there's actually a decent amount of Zerua near us. And we get away from us non-shiny Zerua. Let's capture your shiny friend. Funny enough, they still keep the disguise animation though. So we're going to get another one here. And don't forget, if you run away from the Zerua, you will not be able to get it. So there we go, shiny Zerua. He's going to disguise back into itself, which is pretty funny. And then we're going to catch it, and that is how you get shiny Zerua pretty easily in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I think the big thing here is just remember that you really need to play during the daytime. That's going to be the that's going to make this the easiest for you. If you do it at night, you could hunt, but there's going to be a lot of Murkrows that get in the way of this entire process. And the Hans Crows do follow the same massive thing. You see a Hans Crow outside of a group, you'll be able to uh, defeat it, and it'll be a Zerua. But there's so many little Murkrows around, and it's honestly a lot slower. So I would not recommend that personally. I think a daytime hunt exclusively for this is going to be overall the better case situation for you. I hope this video is helpful, and if it was, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys next time with more Pokemon content. Peace out, and have a great one.